Happy Monday guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. I am out, can you believe this? I'm out, out. We've just um, popped to a garden centre to have a look for a few things for the garden and I decided to tag along. Um, looking at pots and things at the moment. Um, first time using my scooter for a while as well, so I was able to lift that out of the car and stuff. So yeah, welcome back to the weekly. Sorry it's been a while since there's been a weekly vlog. But um, I just wanted to get my stent out and start to feel a little bit more human, which I do. So, yay! Um, I'm going to try very hard to put all of that behind me now and just get on with my life. Um, my life isn't amazing, but it's my life and um, it will always be my life. So, yeah, we've just decided to pop to the Brookside Garden Centre near us. It's about 10 15 minute drive um so yeah there's just a few bits and pieces mum and dad want to get for the garden um because i got up this morning and i was like the thought of spending another day in the house literally destroys my soul especially when it's such a beautiful day it literally destroys my soul so um everything is more or less back to not normal today but it's sort of back to um sort of like most of the shops are back open today and as long as you're social distancing and things like that you are allowed to be sort of out and about and back to normal-ish so yeah happy monday guys what are you up to today let me know in the comments obviously we're not going out um shopping and things like that at the moment because that's just not appropriate um as in shop blue water and all that kind of stuff um gagging to get my nails done but um we are still waiting to find out when they're going to be open. Um, but yeah, so happy Monday. Welcome back to the weekly and I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Catch up. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through Forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me swoon I love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you all I can think is my summer love We're waiting for you, my Good afternoon guys, it is quarter past one and we are home, my hair is growing so much, um, we decided the, the garden centre we went to was so expensive and it was pretty rubbish to be honest, I didn't have hardly any plants or anything, so we decided to go to the one that we normally go to, it's quite a drive from where we was, but we thought, you know, my car hadn't been out for a while, so I, because I followed mum and dad, um, and I haven't been out for quite a while, so we thought we'll go to that one. But when we got there, the queue was so long, because it, it's quite a mass, it's massive. They divided it into two, so if you wanted to go to the farm shop and like the butchers and stuff like that, you queued at the front, and if you wanted the garden centre, you queued at the back. So we got the scooters out, went to the back. <laughs> the queue was massive, and my mum was just like, no, I'm not queuing in that, just to look at some plants, so we decided to just come back home again, so, but it was nice because we ended up just, my car got a really good run, so yeah, it was really nice, um, came home, had a sandwich, mum and dad had just gone for a lay down, and I've just done some life admin bits on my phone, um, ordered him some biscuits, ordered her a fairly way of moody juice, um, look to see an update, if there's an update on our nail shop when they're opening, but there's nothing at the moment, um, and what else did I do, rung my surgeon secretary about my ultrasound scan to see if a doctor can have a look at the report to see if there's anything that needs to in about the polyp, 
um, and then at half one I need to ring the doctor so I've just got a few life admin bits sorted out um, and then this afternoon I'm going to give myself a very good manicure <laughs> like because I'm sick of having no nails and mine looking like this so I'm going to get the drill out and I'm going to get the cute cool pusher out and I'm going to give them a really good going over and I'm going to paint them um, tempted to order some press-ons online and some good glue that seems to be what everybody's doing at the moment but they just ping off and I'm just I'm quite heavy handed and clumsy so I think it's just a waste of money um, so I think I'm just going to give myself a really good manicure this afternoon um, see how I get on with that for a while um, see if it makes me feel a bit more girly I suppose um, but before that when mum and dad get up we're going to watch Absentia because that is brilliant if you've got Amazon Prime you need to watch Absentia I'll leave it on screen because it's a bit of a mouthful um, but yeah I'll watch that um, we've got haircuts booked in with our hairdresser because she's mobile so the rules are a little bit less stringent with her um, so I've got my colours booked in again as well I'm not going to have the brown put in this time I'm just going to have loads of blonde and two different blondes she's going to bring colour chart with her when she comes out um, so that I can choose a blonde because I've got like a light like a honey blonde in at the moment but I want a really light blonde um, as light as we can go really because it's summer um, I just want to go lighter um, but yeah that's all really I, I've just had so much fun driving rocking out to my music it was amazing to be fair um, so yeah that's today I've had a great day I know it's been really silly but it's been great um, yeah wore a bit of makeup just mascara on my eyebrows a bit of concealer a bit of highlighter felt human again felt human again so yeah I was happy um, tomorrow I've got to go and pick up Amy's biscuits between they're doing the lotted time slots between 11 and 12 so that's really that's slap bang in the middle of the day so there's not really a lot I can do tomorrow around there. I've got to take those parcels back to the post office, so I shall probably do that. But apart from that, I don't know what else is going to happen tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good Monday. It's not too blue for you. Um, but yeah, I will show you my manicure later and see how we get on. Good afternoon, guys. It is 25 to 5. So um, I had some posts today and probably if you've, you might have seen it on Instagram, I don't know. Um, I bought Amy a new bowl. Um, as you know, if you've been a long term subscriber of mine, Amy is my cat, if you're new. Hi, if you're new. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Amy is my therapy cat and she has got... Um, IBD so she's got um, inflammatory bowel disease and she's on um, special dry biscuits that stop her from they're like allergen biscuits so they're not um, haven't got as many allergens in as normal biscuits like go cat or um, I am's or any of that I used to have her on I am's and she was fine for years and years and years um, but now she's on heels from the vets um, which I need to pick up tomorrow. But I saw this bowl on Instagram and hello Bubba. Um you you can either get two or just a single. So I decided to go on their website, do some a bit of research, and cats when they eat, obviously they eat reaching down like that. So all the stomach acid runs down their throat. Now Imi vomits quite regularly, hasn't done touch wood for a few months 
um, and when she does it's normally a hairball because she is a very clean cat, very groomy. Um, but I decided to give this bowl a try. Now this bowl is angled up and or at, yeah, angled up and at a tilt. Um, and it comes with the little stand. So as you can see, it's on like a, a sloping angle um, and it's a shape of a cat um, is and she's just had her biscuits out of it for tea um, and it comes with this little cute little stand um, and I chose the single because she's got two water bowls she's got one in my bedroom and one in the hallway so yeah I just thought I'd show you if you're a cat mama or dada um, and your cat suffers with reflux or vomiting you might be interested in this bowl um, so that it is like on a downward slant for them to eat and she had no trouble eating out of it she really she will eat up anything to be fair so she she yeah she's just had her tea out of it and hopefully it will help even more with the whole vomiting issue that she's had but like I say she hasn't vomited for quite a while so which is good but anything I can do to make her more comfortable I will because she's spoiled but um, I've had a bit of an afternoon of it to be honest phoning various people i'm not going to go into details but i've been a victim of fraud um and yeah i've had to phone people and sort things out and wait for the fraud team to get in touch with me and blah 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 blah, blah. um i'm okay everything's fine it's just sodded something up for a while um but yeah everything's fine um so yeah and i've uh done some admin life admin you know like when things just kind of pile up on you for a while like um when you've not been well um things like ordering stuff online that like i had to order in my fairly way i had to order her some biscuits from the vets i had to phone up about my scooter um which they cut me off so that's a tomorrow problem <laughs> um um just some jobs that have been niggling at me which I haven't been able to do because I've been in so much pain phone my surgeon secretary to get her to look get a doctor to look at my ultrasound just life admin basically so yeah I've had an afternoon of life admin so but at least I'm a bit more clear on what's going on now than I was at 10 o'clock this morning so yeah I'm gonna go and have some dinner soon we've got jacket potato and chicken goujons tonight with baked beans um, hey Bubby, hey Bubby, um, so yeah, I'm going to go and have some dinner, um, and yeah, that's about it, it's probably where I'll leave it for today, I might come at you later on, I might not, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to let you know about the bowl, if you've got a cat that regularly hairballs or acid or any problems, so I don't know if it's called anything specific because it didn't come with any paperwork or anything but if you maybe you look google um slanted cat feeding bowl something like that it might come up good evening guys it is half past eight and i have been watching gray's anatomy um i ordered some press on nails what some that are really short and for small tiny little nails because that's what i have like teeny tiny little nails um and they're just white tip but they're really the only ones i can find that were really short um because i'm so sick of looking at this um so that's my other news i've been watching Grey's anatomy and i'm now i downloaded the seventh series of brooklyn nan nan because i just could not keep seeing spoilers all over instagram anymore without watching it on amazon prime and i'm on episode seven and i must say it is good it is real good um so i'm watching that i've got lemon and lavender i know that sounds like a weird combination but it actually smells very good diffusing in my diffuser um and i've had a very productive slash um good day like i've had a good first sort of day back at vlogging and a first good day back at sort of 
doing more normal activities um even though this afternoon was a bit sort of like i said it was life admin more than anything else like i ordered a bag for my scooter um a till it's called a tiller bag it just goes over like your handlebars um to keep like if i go to blue water like i probably won't take a handbag up I'll, I'll just use that like with um and I'll keep like a packet of tissues in there, some wet wipes, some hand gel. Um, so that all I've got to take with me is like my purse, my phone, excuse me, my car keys and my keys. Just like so that you've got my painkillers, like you've got everything in there. I will take my handbag, but I don't have to take it in with me. Um, so I ordered that. Um, yeah, so just a productive day really. Um, but yeah, I hope you are all doing really well. Emmy likes her new bowl. She ate her biscuits out of it again for snack at eight o'clock. So that's good. She's good. Um, what is on me? Um, yeah. So I'm loving Grey's Anatomy as well. Absolutely getting right into that. They, Grey's Anatomy and Brooklyn Nine-Nine are my two favourites. Like they are my two faves so tomorrow my plan is to i've just got to go to pick up a form from the doctors that somebody recommended to me um and i need to go to drop some stuff off at the post office and to the vets and that's it tomorrow um yeah that's it tomorrow um and then Wednesday I might have a day here because I do need to build up my stamina a bit because I'm finding that by the afternoon I'm starting to flag a little bit I think it's because I've been not doing a lot so I think I need to build up my stamina to allow myself to do more normal everyday things again you got anything for the dishwasher? no I've just put mine in there um so um, Wednesday, I need to wash my hair, so Wednesday I'll probably stay here and do that um, on Wednesday. And then I really need to get my car cleaned, like that is got to be done. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. So, so I'm going to leave it for today and um, I'll see you very soon for Tuesday, so yeah. I've really had a good day. I'm feeling very positive and very good. It was so nice just to go out today, just to, to be free and be more normal. Put a bit of makeup on, probably got mascara goo in my eye. But just to, to do normal stuff again felt amazing. It really did feel amazing. So, yeah, let's roll into Tuesday. Good Tuesday morning, guys, from me and from her. Happy Tuesday, how are you all? Um, I am feeling, I had a really good night's sleep, um, which is great. Um, but I have woke up with the worst headache, like it is thumping, my head is thumping. She's going to go and have a drink. Put it up there, just on it. So my head is thumping. Um, I've just finished off doing the kitchen, taken over from Dad, so he can go get dressed because they're going to go to Morrison's, pick up my form from the doctor. I'm going to have a day in today, pick up my form from the doctors. Um, Amy's got plenty of biscuits, so I phoned the vets and said I'll pick them up um, another day. Uh, so I'm just going to have a day at home today because I feel exhausted as well. <laughs> I think because Sunday I had a busy day changing over my wardrobe from summer to from autumn winter to spring summer um and yeah changing the bed in the morning just i had a busy day on sunday and i had a busy day yesterday even though i wasn't out the house in the afternoon it turned out to be mega busy here in the afternoon so i think i've worn myself out a little bit because <laughs> i haven't been doing much um so yeah the plans for today are i'm gonna have a go ahead thing for breakfast because I don't really fancy a lot 
and a cup of tea. Then I'm going to jump in the shower and wash my hair because it needs a good wash. Um, I'll let that dry naturally because I'm not going anywhere, then I'll straighten it later. Um, and I may run a dust around in here, I may not. See how it goes. Someone at the door. Don't know. It was my scooter bag thing I ordered last night. Yeah, it came really fast. And I didn't order it on Amazon, it was eBay. So normally they take like forever on eBay. So that's good. So yeah, it's just going to be an in day today, guys. So not much going on. But yeah, so I definitely need to wash the hair though. It's amazing how one day you can make your hair just go. It's fine yesterday. If So, yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go and get in the shower. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Guys, look at my little bunny. Look at her. You me. Look at the little bunnies. Look. Look at these. Look, look. The little feet. Look. Look at those little feeties. Look. She's so cute, guys. Look. She's so cute. I know that. Are you being adorable? Are ya? Look at his little bellies. So soft. She's adorable. Oh, so scrummy. So scrummy. Good afternoon, guys. I'm rocking the boiled egg look. I washed my hair this morning and I haven't had, well, I have had chance, but I haven't straightened it yet. It's been another day today. So, I had a bit of a stress this morning trying to sort out this bloody form from the doctor. She gave my mum the wrong form. And she told me that I got print it out. And I said, well, I haven't got a printer. So, can you print it out and I'll come pick it up tomorrow. So, that's that. Then we had lunch and watched an Abacentia. Then, I highly recommend that, by the way. There's two seasons on Amazon Prime. Or Prime Video, whatever it's called. Bloody brilliant. Um, then um, I ordered some press-on nails yesterday from Amazon. And I ordered, I've got very petite, tiny little nails. So I ordered, oh, they're over there. I really can't get up again, guys. I, they're a Kiss. Uh, they're by the brand Kiss. And if you put in to Amazon um, press-on nails for small nails... These were one of the ones that come up. Now they're just white tip, which was fine for me. And they are so comfy, guys. Like they feel like you've had them done at the shop. And they look, the reviews on them were amazing. They were $7.95. And they feel so comfy. Like they don't feel like stick on nails at all. So I did mine. And I did my mum's out of one packet. But um, I've ordered another packet because my, one of my mum's is a bit big. Even though I filed it, it's a bit big. But they are, they feel amazing and they look so much better. So I'm happy with that. Um, and I've just been on the phone. My mobility scooter, I lease it through a company. And it's up for renewal. It's three years since I've had it. Um, but I'm trying to find out a price to actually buy my actual scooter. Um, and do you think anyone will give me a price for it? it? It is like trying to get blood out of a unicorn. Yeah, I'm being serious. So I've had to do some more ringing around this afternoon. And now it's 20 past four. And I think in the Hello. afternoon's gone. Um, and yeah, it's now 20 past four. And I don't know where the day's gone. Um... Imi decided that while I was on the phone to the lady, it'd be a perfect time to come and plonk herself right here and have a cuddle. 
and now she's got the ump because I moved and she's now down there and gone asleep. So I'm going to help my mum with that now, the keypad. Um, I was going to try and straighten my hair, but that's a, t that's a tomorrow problem. I'm going to go guys, I'll catch up with you later. It's, it's crazy here, it's crazy. Good evening guys, do excuse the barnet, I haven't straightened it yet. It smells good though, it smells like coconut because my conditioner is coconut and I've got serum, coconut serum in it as well. But it's not straightened, so that's a tomorrow problem. Um, it's nine o'clock, I've just finished watching two episodes of the new series, so series, season seven of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's not as funny as the previous seasons. I'm inclined to say but it is really good but it's not as funny as the previous seasons it's not as many like puns in it it's more serious i feel this season's been more serious than previous and there's only 13 episodes i mean what first season had like 23 episodes i think it was um but i'm loving these nails highly recommend them to you if you've got very petite tiny little nails like me and you're looking for something short and temporary either for a night out or to get you through until um the nail shops are open again they're very comfortable the glue is good and but you do your prep work these took me about an hour to do now you're probably thinking but I had a lot of cuticle skin to remove, which I just use a um, a tool that I got off of eBay, which it looks like a um, pair of scissors, but it's not. It's like a professional cuticle remover. Um, you need to push cuticles back, remove any excess oil off your nails with acetone, remove your cuticle if you've got any overgrowth like I have, and buff your natural nail do not put these just onto a smooth natural nail because the glue has nothing to adhere, adhere to so they will just pop off you need to get a nail file and gently rub the nail file over your natural nail until they become like abrasive um, and then they will stick and last so much longer than if you just stick it on a, a shiny nail um, but wash your hands before you stick them on because um and wash your hands then file them with the nail file then stick them but make sure you've got no oil or anything like that on them because otherwise the glue will not be as effective um and they should do you they say the seven days but hopefully we'll at least get that out of them but i carry the glue with me just in case i have a little pop off while I'm out but because they're very short hopefully we'll have no issues they just look so much better um and they were 7 95 on Amazon but if you just put in kiss um or just put I just put in um press on nails for small nails and they, they came up there were about the seventh or eighth one down I think a lot of them were children's ones but these were, and the reviews on these were amazing. And the pictures, they looked like real nails. So that's why I chose them. And they do, they do look like you've had them done at the salon. Um, so I'm just going to, I've just took my sleeping tablet. Oh dear. And I'm going to read now until I start to feel sleepy. But I hope you've all had a good Tuesday. Um, whatever you've been up to let me know in the comments what you've been up to um Kimmy is on the back of the sofa dad's in there watching something on the telly and she's whacking her tail around his head at the moment so she loves that new bowl she really likes that much better um, eating angle for her so that was well worth the money she's spoiled rotten um but you know my bubs um but yeah i'd highly recommend that if you are a cat parent so yeah but happy tuesday guys i hope you've all had a good day um 
I'm gonna go because I'm tired and I'm gonna have a read. So I'll see you very soon for hump day. Oh, today's gone super quick. Good Wednesday morning, guys. I hope you are all doing well. Happy hump day. How are you all? I'm just eating a go ahead bar for my breakfast. I don't fancy much this morning. Um, we are going on a secret mission again this morning and I cannot divulge because if I did I'd have to kill you and I don't want to kill my subscribers because I was nice out of that. Um, so I need to sort the barnet out obviously because I'm not going to go out like looking like a ratchet like this. Just going to finish taking my tablets with my coffee and then I'm going to straighten my hair and get dressed, washed and dressed. So... Emmy is taking life very, very seriously there, as you can see. For Wednesday, she is loving Wednesday. Um, but I have to pick up a form from the doctors and take some parcels to the post office. Good job. Um, but yeah, so that's my Wednesday, guys. But I will catch up with you sporadically throughout it. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy your humping. And I will see you very soon. Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. It is four o'clock. I have been a bit of a busy bee today and I'm going to be that really annoying person that says I can't tell you what I've been doing because it's a bit of a secret project but I will be, hopefully, I'll be able to tell you soon but it's nothing to do with YouTube or anything like that. It's uh, to do with me personally, me and Amy. But I think you've probably already guessed by now what it is. But anyway, um... But yeah, I am got a headache and I'm feet because I haven't drunk enough and I'm knackered. So I'm in now for the day. Um and um we're gonna have some dinner about five probably, half five, and yeah. Then it'll be the evening routine. So yeah, this week's gone super fast, hasn't it? Like super super fast the weeks just fly by just flown by um yeah but it's been a really lovely day i've had a really nice day um a few tears this morning but not bad tears just fingers crossed tears and feeling like oh i need this so badly um tears um but yeah so please guys all i'm asking you to do is just do this for me just do this um but yeah um but i'm just gonna sit here go on instagram for a bit i love to do that just look at all everyone's stories and just just chill um which i need to do my heart is going a bit like because mm, i haven't drunk enough water so i've just got myself a big thing of water that i need to not down because i can't but just drink that slowly tomorrow apparently it's supposed to be absolute pagan pestilence here with the weather so we'll see what the weather's like if it's really bad then i won't be doing anything but if it's relatively good then i might go and wash my car that'll definitely make it rain won't it but we'll see what the weather's like but yeah but yeah secret project work today secret project work good evening guys it is half past nine I've just spent that 10-15 minutes brushing Emmy and she's, she loves a brush. Um, it's something I forget to do. My dad does it more when because like every night about this time or a bit earlier she goes in and plonks herself on my mum and dad's bed and demands that he strokes her um, <laughs> and she loves it like she loves that bit of time with him and he normally brushes her. Well, I went in to diet to tell them something, can't remember what it was now. And uh, I, my dad said, can you pass me the comb? Because when we first bought her, I bought a puppy brush because she was quite thin. And I didn't want the comb to hurt her. So I bought a puppy brush. And so I got the 
the comb and the puppy brush out the drawer and she got up straight away and come over to me as if to say, oh no, you, you do it mum, you do it mum. So I was like, okay, I'll brush you. So I brushed her, got quite a bit of fur out of her and I've just, it must be like a massage to her because she lays down, she's purring, she's rubbing herself up my mum and dad's tissue box and up my dad's book on the bed, like as if to say, oh, this is pure heaven. And then all after she's had enough, she just turns around and bites you. <laughs> as if to say, that's it, I'm done, get off of me. Um, so yeah, she's... Uh, gone off and i was in the kitchen getting a drink and she really come out and shouted at me as if to say right i want my biscuits now and come and brush me <laughs> here she comes talk of the devil pretty girl you can all pretty drink time now is it drink time my first is she's very noisy when she drinks i don't know if you can hear that anyway she's having a drink um i've finished season seven of brooklyn 99 oh my god the last episode amy and jake are parents to baby mac spoiler sorry if you're oh my god so cute i'll put a thing on screen to say spoiler warning but oh my god so cute oh god it's the best it's the funniest episode i've seen in a long time it was brilliant um yeah really good i really enjoyed season seven like i said it wasn't the funniest season i've ever seen but it was the it was a good one it was a good season so um i'm gonna read for a bit and then go to bed come baby you miss you miss come in come in no okay then um i'm i've got my diffuser on i've got lavender um, lemon and eucalyptus in there tonight and it smells really nice I'm just starting to play around a little bit with my oils like mixing them and stuff looking into to that um, yeah so it's been it's been quite an interesting day today it's been an interesting day so mm, but yeah but anyway guys I shall love you and leave you here for Wednesday and happy hump day and let's Roll it into Thursday, I guess. Good Thursday morning, guys. How are you all? Happy Thursday. You're one step closer to the weekend if you're watching this and you're at work. You can do this, you've got this, you've got it. Oh, I had a rough night last night. Um, I'm waiting for the doctor to ring about my sleeping meds because they're melatonin, all they do is when I do finally get to sleep after about six hours and then I take in half a Zolpi gem as well. I'm not going to tell her that I... <clears throat> it's giving me funny dreams like I'm on cannabis or something. So, um, yeah. Weird. Very weird. Covered in spots. Hmm. Um, my nails are still going strong highly recommend these guys if you're like in the market for some press-ons and you just want something to last you through till the salons are open again um what other news have i got Immy sleeps down there um i've got orange and lemon burning in we're well not burning diffusing in my diffuser the orange is a bit weird it's like very fresh squeezed orange you know that tummy smell so I don't know if I would, I would repurchase that one. I don't think I would. I think I'd go for something else, another orange. Um, but it smells nice. It smells fresh. Mum and Dad have gone back to bed for a bit because my mum's ulcerated colitis is playing up a little bit. So she's gone back to bed and my dad had a really bad night's sleep. Um, I've just had a wash and got some fresh pyjamas on and... I made a hot water bottle for my back, took some co dried them all, and I'm going to sit and read my book because it's good. It's called The Other Wife and it's a thriller. And I haven't read a thriller for a while. Um, and it's really good. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a home day today because I'm tired after yesterday. And I am just a bit tired if I'm honest my chronic fatigue syndrome's kicking my butt a little bit today and I'm aching I'm in pain so yeah I'm just gonna have a bit of a lazy day I've put my hair up 
not all of it goes up yet I've got some straggly bits but we can live with that so yeah that's the plan for today um, yeah this vlog's not been very exciting I'm very sorry about that but um, tomorrow I or Saturday I have to go and get my tablets for my monthly meds to bring the chemist actually thanks for reminding me um i have to go and get my chemi get my chemist get my meds um and arrange to pick up Emmy's biscuits again next week because she's got enough at the moment look at her guys she's so cute don't forget Emmy has her own instagram page now i will put it on screen for you um it's at Emmy underscore therapy cat. There with guys. Oh, hospital. They're going to ring back late because it was for my mum. Um, what was I saying? She's gone. It's gone. But, um, I need to go and pick up my monthly drugs and all of that jazz. So, might do that tomorrow then come home and do the editing or do it Saturday I don't know but whatever you're doing today have a wonderful day Immy Cat's Instagram is Immy underscore therapy underscore cat I think it is but I'll leave it on screen so you can go and give her a follow because she's so good but yeah um, I'll leave it here for this morning and I'll catch up with you a bit later happy Thursday guys when you end up taking a random picture of yourself when you wanted to start filming. <laughs> it is 20 to 5 guys. Um, it's been a bit of a funny day. The weather is glorious. It was supposed to be absolutely pagan pestilence today apparently. Um, so I sat reading most of the morning. Then had a little nap. Then had some lunch and we watched two episodes of Absentia on Amazon Prime you need to watch that guys it is brilliant um, and then I wrapped up my dad's father's day present with mum and I've just been on Instagram and talking to Joe. nothing exciting but well, it's exciting talking to Joe, obviously but and I'm just gonna read a bit more until dinner is ready but um, Emmy likes the bag that the presents go in, so she tries to get in the bag. She's asleep on the bed at the moment. Um, I really need to do a post on her Instagram, but I have a picture to go on her Instagram, so that's good. I have that to go on there. But yeah, that's all we've been doing. Nails are still intact, still on, still looking fabulous. So yeah. Um, tomorrow I have to go, I don't know whether I'm going to go out tomorrow morning and pick up my tablets, um, gently, gently, gentle, gentle, you should rip yourself to pieces, um, pick up my tablets, um, and that, or whether I am going to do that Saturday morning I probably will do it Saturday morning because I have editing to do but we'll see how I feel when I get up what I want to do all of that jazz what the weather's like all of that so um next week I do need to pop to B&M get my car clean that was on my list for this week but it just hasn't worked out that way which is fine and um I'd like to go to the range and as to live in if they're open, which I think they will be by next week. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for a couple of days next week. Um, yeah, so nothing much exciting has happened to me today. But the weather was supposed to be minging, and it's not minging at all. It's lovely. So, my book's really good. It's called The Other Wife um, by... I'll put it on screen, Claire somebody, I think. It's really good, it's really, really good. Um, so I'm enjoying reading that. Don't know what I'm going to read next. 
and I might I might try Susan Lewis actually. I might try one of hers. But yeah, I think I might go and sit in with my mum actually for a while till dinner and then it'd be dinner time and then the usual routine. I've been but I've been diffusing lemon and orange all day, that's really nice. Until night and then I diffuse lavender. Oh, I spoke to the GP about my sleep. She isn't going to give me any more sleeping tablets, which is fair enough. Well, apart from like my monthly ones and my repeat prescription. But she is referred me to the Sleep Station, which is an online program. And you fill in a simple questionnaire, which I did. And then they come through with like a, a program for you. And you either pay for it and it's the program that they recommended for me was £296 or you can apply for funding through the NHS. So I've applied for funding through the NHS because I'm on, obviously on a low income. So I've applied for that um, and obviously my GP suggested it so I should get it because she's the one that recommended me for it and I've ticked the box that I've had medication for my sleep and medication for my sleep and constantly been to and fro from my GP about my sleep um, so hopefully I will get that and be able to do that I think it's not like a course but it's like a yeah a bit like a course really where you can they help you with um, the problems you're having with your sleep recommend um, different strategies for helping you different problems that you've got and things like that um i should have took a screenshot actually of what you get with it but i didn't think to do that um but obviously if you're in a position to pay for it then um great um so yeah i will let you know if i get that or if i don't but hopefully i will um but i've never even heard of that before nobody's ever recommended that to me before I've just always been hot on sleeping tablets and obviously I'd rather not take sleeping tablets, I'd rather just be able to fall asleep on my own. Um, so yeah, but hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, oh, fingers crossed it will be a good thing and it will help me with my sleep. So, but we'll see, we'll see how we get on. But I will, I'll keep you updated whichever way it goes. Good Friday morning guys, how are you all? Hope you're okay. Um, it is half nine and I have only just woke up. I had the worst night's sleep, literally the worst night. So yeah, that was interesting. Um, God, literally the worst night. So I'm just emptying the dishwasher because I don't know what time my parents are going to be home. Um, but yeah, not a fun night at all. Not a fun night. Anyway, um, today is um, probably try and get editing done today at some point. Um, but apart from that, not a lot. Um, but yeah, apart from that, not a lot. Due to the fact that I am absolutely exhausted. And I mean exhausted. So, but I'm glad I've got a vlog to put up on Monday. Because so nice to actually have a vlog growing up for once as well um, but yeah not a lot really to report guys apart from the crappy night apart from the crappy night then these on my bed I'm going to get this done sort all the bits out and that and then I will make a coffee and all of that does and sort everything out but at the moment I like to get this done because the parents get back the parents get back and eat the kitchen tidy for them to put 
for us to put the shopping away. So, yeah, that's the plan back then. The weather's crap here again today. It's just dull, dull, dull. So, not brilliant. But yeah, hope your Friday is going well. And you're, whatever you're up to, I'm enjoying it. So I've kept up with you and I'm sorted out, out here and everything's done. I was going to montage it, but I just haven't got the energy to sort it out today. It's, um... It's just going to be one of them days. It's going to be one of them days. If this is not spoiled, guys, I don't know what is. She wouldn't eat them on her mat, but she'll eat them on Mummy's bed. Spoiled little monkey. But I love her. I love her. Is that nice? Have you got your bit bits? Good girl, are they nice bit bits? Yeah? Oh, yum yum. She's got the up because I won't let her have a stick. But she only gets a stick on Sundays and Wednesdays and she only has half. So they make her poorly otherwise. Good girl, what you got? She's got a little bit of tuna to have this afternoon as well. There's a good girl. Was that nice? Yeah? Nice bit bits. Spoilt rotten, guys. Spoilt rotten. Good evening, guys. It is quarter to nine. Um, just coming at you to end today's segment and end this week's weekly vlog. Um, I have a cat on the end of the bed. She's just sitting there, she's just like, she's been a very, very cuddly girl today, like, very cuddly. Um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her, not normally that cuddly. But anyway, it's been lovely, made the most of it. I've had five cuddles, I think, and Nimi is not a cuddly cat, like, she will, on her terms, her terms only, I very, very rarely pick Nimi up. Like, I'd pick, probably pick him up once a month, twice a month for a cuddle because she don't like it. So, I don't do it because she hates it. So, um, and if I pick her up to move her off the bed, Ethel comes out, which is Immy's alter ego. We call her Ethel because there's two sides to Immy. There's Immy and Ethel. And Ethel comes out and she's like, Immy. Like, an old grumpy old Ethel with a walking stick, like, me, 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 me. And just imagine. <laughs> Sorry if your nan's called Ethel, I'm sure she's lovely. But <laughs> this Ethel was not quite so lovely. Um, but yeah, she's a funny little thing. She's got loads of character. Loads of character. She uh, came out in the kitchen earlier because mum and dad went food shopping today instead of yesterday. And uh, she knows her STICKs are in the drawer. She had half yesterday. Um, and then she'll have a whole one on Sunday. She also has a whole coffee on Sunday because we call it she, we call it a coffee because my mum will go, do you want a coffee? And she'll run out into the kitchen thinking that she's going to get an S-T-I-C-K. So um, today she used to get one when my mum and dad come back from food shopping, but we've kind of changed that routine around. And because I had a tuna sandwich yesterday, she she had some tuna. So I put a little bit in a pot for her to have today as well so I knew she had some tuna to have so I didn't give in and didn't give her a stick but she came out in that kitchen and she really shouted at my dad as if to say like give me a stick Mow. she was going Mow. up the wall she was like like a little meerkat up the wall to really telling him that like this was not on and it is unacceptable and I will not be snuggling and you will not be getting any belly rubs or anything until I get my stick. <laughs> she was proper going for it. She chats at you. It's so funny. 
It's really, really funny. Oh, yeah. You're not talking to yourself, are you? No. Not lost it yet. No. She's just so funny when she just demands this. Like, if, you, if you're not quite on time with her bippets either, she will let you know. She's like, Meow. she She loses her stuff. She does. She's, she's so funny. She's, she's a funny little thing. But anyway, I'm going to read some of my book. Um, I did put it on screen earlier in the vlog, I think. No, I didn't actually. I forgot. Um, it's Claire McGowan, The Other Wife. And it is brilliant. And it is free to borrow on Amazon Prime, I think it is. Or Amazon Library, I think it is. Um, it's free to borrow if you've got a Kindle. Or it's 99p to buy, I think. Or 199 one of the two. But I highly recommend it. It's not too long. I think it's 285 pages, I think. Don't mark my words on that. But it's um, a really good thriller. Like really good the twists in it i was not expecting um and i think i'm on page 200 and something um but my my favorite one of my favorite thriller authors um heidi perks she's just released another one so i, I bought that because i've still got some money on my gift card from the lovely emma who sent me a gift card thank you very much emma when i was poorly so um i'm still working my way through my gift card so i bought Heidi Perk's new one which was 99p so I should look forward to reading that and then I've got my Leslie Pierce one coming next week which is on pre-order um, which is called Layer. Layer, you're a layer um, so I'm looking forward to reading that too I love Leslie Pierce so yeah um, I've took a little bit of Oxynorm tonight purely because my stomach where my wound is last night and today it has been aching so bad now i've never had apart from my appendix out which is a tiny little cut like that went when i was 11 um which i don't really remember um much about it um i've never really had open surgery on my tummy my other surgery was keyhole if you've had a cesarean or other stomach surgery please get into my comments and please let me know is it normal once you've had surgery like open surgery on your tummy for your wound to like ache is that normal it's like an ache a dull kind of ache um and it's like it's tender like um but don't forget i had it done twice so i had the first procedure was st stapled up then 10 days later opened and stapled again so that might be why but <clears throat> yeah but it's just a bit painful but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this week's vlog if you enjoyed as always don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe guys you won't get notified when i upload and if you want to be notified you need to hit your little bell turn the bell on um and don't forget to subscribe not only does it help me out it helps you guys out as well um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a friendly comment down below. Um, I always reply to comments and enjoy chatting with you all in the comments. I will leave my social media in the description box. There will be my Instagram, my book Instagram and Imi's Instagram down below and my email address as well. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you bright and squarely on Monday morning for another weekly vlog. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.